Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're using the great Divi theme here today and we're creating this little hover effect. It's an image. When you hover over it, it's going to slide in some text from the left hand side and also an icon. Really easy to do. We're not using any coding for this today. We're using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a section here, the blue tab, with a row in it, the green tab, and I've got two columns left and right. Now this will work with any module. I'm actually using a blurb module for this today because it's got the icon, but it will work with any module that you want to put in here and have it slide in. Now the way these things work, a lot of these image to text type hover effects is the image itself is actually residing in the column of the row. And then we're putting the, the module that we want to use on top of it and making it fade in or hover in it however we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is add our little blurb module. There it is. And like I say, use any module you wish. And I'm going to use an icon. Obviously put your title in here, put whatever text you want in there down below here. And like any text module, you can set it to headings and paragraphs, bold, italicize. You can link things and add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is, but I am going to use an icon. So just down below in the content image and icon, I'm going to flip to use icon. Grab whatever icon it is you want to use. I guess I'll use a little right hand arrow as that's the way it's going to go. And let's just pop a little background color in so we can see what we've got going on here. So still on content, I've gone down to background. I'm just going to pop a blue in the back there. Great. Now let's pop over to design image and icon. I'm going to make that icon white, just purely how it stands out on the back. I'm not going to spend too much designing this today. There's all kinds of options for icon styling and positioning. And obviously that's up to you. I'm just going to make my text light in color so it stands out a bit more. I'm going to pop it in the middle. And you can style title and body text separately if you want to down here. Now I'm going to go down to spacing. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of our work today. So let's go into spacing under the design tab. I want to give it a bit of breathing room all round. So I'm going to give it 50 pixels. Just put the 50 in, it'll put the picks in, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. And there's our little blurb module. But we don't actually want to see that initially. We, we want that to just slide in when we hover over an image that we choose. So let's save this. And what we'll do, we'll put an image in the background of the column. Now you won't see it because our blurb's on top, but we will fix that in a moment. So let's go into this particular column here, which will be in the row, the green tab. Column number two, you got one, two, we're on number two. Go down to background and you've got color, gradient, image or text. I want to use an image, so I'm just going to simply pop in a background image in there. And I guess I'll use a different one for this today. Let's use that one. Like I say, you won't see it because our blurb module's on top of it. Okay, and there it is. Now here's an important part. While we're in this column, we want to go over to our advanced tab because what we're going to do is we're going to push this blurb module over here out of the way so we can see the image. Then when we hover on it, it's going to come back and cover up that image again. Now anything outside the column that falls outside the column like this will do when we push it over is called overflow. So what we need to do so that we can't see it when it overflows is go over to advanced still in this column to visibility and we've got horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to switch both of those to hidden. Now you might think why do you need to do the vertical as we're doing a horizontal sort of scroll. Thing is if you don't do that one you'll have a little scroll column left and I don't want that. I just want it to disappear and it to look like a normal image or something like that. So we're good to go with our column now. We've got our image in there and we've hidden our overflow. So let's go back into our module, save the row settings. Here's our module. 
And if I go down to that background color now, and actually take the opacity or transparency away, just click on the color. It's this little variegated slider over here. You can see that image behind there. Okay, well, let's make this blurb do what we want it to do. And again, we're going to be using a lot of spacing for this. So let's go over to our design. Down to the spacing again. Now, what I want to do is I want to pull it all the way over here somewhere. So I'm going to give it a pretty high amount of negative margin to pull it to the left. So I'm going to just hit the little arrow to get minus one. I'm going to say minus 800 giving it a lot here that's kind of pushed it over this side but so we can actually activate it we saw it a bit showing there but so we can activate it I've got to make sure I've got a lot of padding on the right hand side so that when we hover over it's going to trigger the hover effect that we want so what I'm going to do is take the chain off so we don't have both the same on both sides here I'm going to put 800 in here also on the padding as you can see that's disappeared off screen nicely now we still got our overlay but I'll get rid of that in a moment so we're just looking at an image okay so there's our regular state where we want it in the regular state so let's hover over the dark writing and this is common to most Divi modules hover over the dark writing you'll see some icons pop up you've got a little arrow you can set a desktop state for when your mouse is not on it which is exactly what we want there and you can set a hover state when our mouse is on it. So when our mouse is on it, I want to change that back to zero so it pops back in there. And I don't want all that crazy padding in there, so I want to change that back to 50 just on the hover state. So again, we want to roll over the padding, hit the little arrow, get to the hover state here, and we'll put 50 in there. There we go. So there it is when we're hovering over it. If I go back to the desktop, and it's way out of the way when we're not hovering over it. But when we're not hovering over it, I don't want the background overlay. So again, let's go back to our content and just fix the background color. So what I can do in this instance is I can either go in here and make the opacity all the way down or just delete the color completely. But again, I want to set a hover state when we are hovering over it. A little arrow right there again. And for the hover state, I want it to be either fully visible like that, fully blue, or if you take the opacity down a bit, you can just have a little hint of the image showing through and still read all of that text nicely. And like I mentioned, you can style the headings, icon and text separately in the design with text, title, text, body, sec body text, image and icon right there. Now, the only other thing I'd like to do is when we hover over this, if I go back into that spacing, it happens almost instantly. I just want to slow that down a bit for a bit of drama. And to do that, I need to go over to my advanced tab, still in the blurb settings. I'm going to go down to transitions. There's the 300 default timing that it gives you with the Divi. Now 300 milliseconds is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. I'm going to slow mine down to maybe just over half a second, maybe 600 or something like that, 600 mils. Entirely up to you. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as their mouse starts to hit it. Speed curve I like to use for these effects is ease in and ease out. Now these are all subtly different. In some situations some will work better than others, so check them out. But for my hover effects, I'm going to use the ease in and ease out. So if we've done everything correctly now, this should work perfectly. So I'm going to save my changes. Before we get out of the visual builder, because we've actually pushed this element over here, when I hover over, it's not there. You can't just click on the cog. Now, if you have this problem that you can't see it because it's on the invisible overflow over here and you need to get into it, simply hit the little purple button, a little icon down here, wireframe mode, and there it is. You can get in there really easy by going into wireframe mode. Once you're actually in there, you can flip it back to desktop and continue editing what you need. Okay, well, let's save that. We'll go down and save our draft or save the page changes. 
let's exit the visual builder and here we are and let's roll over this thing when I put my mouse on it there we go we've got our little blurb module sliding in so like I say you can use a text module you can use a call to action with a button you can use any module you want for this you want to just adjust it for the sizing and text that you've got here and this will work just as well on mobile devices with a tap you may just add might want to add a little bit of extra padding just have a look at them on those devices but it should work fine for that too so there you go guys there's a little text over image slide in from the left really easy to do so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day